Welcome to Excel Magic Trick number 1159. Hey, if you want to download this workbook and follow along, click on the link below the video. Hey, in this video, we want to see how to extract a unique list of names and then create a data validation drop down list. Now, back in Magic Excel Magic Trick 1023, we did it, but guess what? It was with an array formula. Now, the array formula has an advantage, is that if I add anything, here's the drop down, right? If I add anything, it instantly updates. I don't have to do anything. But it is just insane. You have all sorts of crazy formulas you have to do. And I cover a lot of this in my book, all the concepts behind it. But that video, Excel Magic 1023, did it. Here we want to see how to do it with Power Query. So you have to get Power Query, which means you have to go to Google and say, download Power Query. It's free. It's an add-in. It's easy to add in. But it only works in 2010 and 13. And it won't be quite as automatic as the formulas. But if you want a quick and easy way and you don't mind refreshing, just as you have to refresh pivot tables, then this is awesome. Now, let's go ahead and see how to do this. This is a table, and I want to only get the names from this column. And I want to get rid of any empty cells also. Now, we have to convert it to a table, so I've already done that, and I have a name. But watch this. I go up to Power Query, From Table. Now we have one, two, three columns. I'm first going to select Date, and then I'm going to hold Control and click Sales and right click Remove. Then I'm going to select the Customer column, and I'm going to go up to Remove Duplicates. Man, that's easy. One, two, three, let's see, we have three steps so far. But each one of these is being recorded over here so that next time we invoke Refresh, it runs this and goes and gets the latest data. But we still need to filter it, which is one of our steps. I'm going to filter out Null. Click OK. There we go. Now I'm going to close and load to. Here's our dialog box. Now we could put it on a new worksheet, and it would work. We'll do that in a second. But I'm going to put it on this existing sheet just so we can see it in action. Click the Collapse button. I'm going to place it a few cells below. Click OK. Click Load. Now there's our table. Now let's do our data validation based on this Power Query table output. Data. Data validation, or I can use the keyboard Alt D L. Instead of any value, I'm going to hit Tab L to get to the list. Tab, and the source is going to be my Power Query column. Click OK. And now we have a drop down validation list from our Power Query table. Now I'm going to hit Tab, Tab, Tab. Now I'm going to type Tim. All right, now it doesn't automate like those array formulas, but I can either right click Refresh, or I have a note to myself off to the side. Anytime I want to refresh it, I Control Alt F5. And instantly, or within a few seconds, look at that. Tim is showing up at the bottom. Now let's put this on a different sheet. You know, In earlier versions of Excel, you couldn't have data validation looking to another sheet. But you can now. I'm going to Control X. Put this on another sheet, Control V, come over here, and let's add some new records. Tab, 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 Fran. All right, so we have some empty cells. That's part of our query and a new name. I'm going to Control Alt F5. And now let's check out our drop down. You've got to be kidding me. That is pretty amazing. Power Query, there's so many amazing things you can do if you don't mind refreshing each time and you need to extract a unique list to create a data validation drop down list power query might be the way to go all right we'll see you next trick